the high lava flow phase of episode 36 began at 11.15 a.m. HST on Sunday, November 9th. Lava is currently erupting from both the north and south vents at Halama'uma'u on Kilauea Summit. Previous episodes have produced incandescent lava fountains exceeding 1K. 00 feet in height, resulting in eruptive plumes reaching up to 20,000 feet above the ground. The USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory wrote in a volcanic activity notice. According to the National Weather Service, winds are blowing from the northeast, indicating that volcanic gas and volcanic material emissions may be distributed southwest of Kilauea Summit. The eruption at Kilauea Summit is still in its preliminary phase, leading to the next anticipated high-flowing lava flow episode in the caldera within Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. Lava flow has continued, mostly from the north vent over the past 24 hours, and scientists believe the start of episode 36 is still imminent. Lava spattering is only associated with drain back events, indicating the rising magma is still gas poor, the USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory wrote Sunday. Low levels of summit inflation were observed over the past day, leading inflation models to extend the forecast period by one day. The USGS HVO reported, inflation-based models indicate that high-flowing fountains could occur anytime between now and November 12th. Intermittent flow, lasting from a few minutes to two hours from the north vent, continued throughout yesterday and this morning. This flow indicates limited spattering to drain back. This indicates that most of the decondensed magma is currently erupting. Both the main vent and the cone on the back wall remain active. The north vent's outflows are relatively brief, lasting from a few minutes to about half an hour. The outflows increased in volume and strength this morning and extended slightly into the Halima'uma'u crater flow. Low dome fountaining is common at the main vent, along with double fountaining from the cone. The south vent is intermittently sprinkling, indicating high lava levels and has produced two small outflows. More than 170 preliminary outflow events have occurred since the early morning hours of November 3rd, with about two-thirds of them originating from the north vent. P 
Peak inflation continued at a low level yesterday. Overall, the Wakehuna tilt meter has recorded an inflation tilt of about 0.7 microradians over the past 24 hours, resulting in an inflation tilt of 27.3 microradians since the end of episode 35. Tremors have shifted from relatively regular long bursts punctuated by brief periods of calm to very irregular outflows of varying duration and intensity last night. Gas plumes continued to billow from both vents this morning, while sulfur dioxide emissions remained at normal levels, typically between 1,200 and 1,500 tons per day. Light trade winds have returned to the summit of Kilauea this morning and are blowing from the northeast to southwest. The episode 35 lava flow began around 8.05 p.m. HST on October 17th and ended at 3.32 a.m. HST on October 18th. The lava flow at the south vent reached a height of nearly 460 meters, and the lava flow at the north vent reached a height of about 330 meters. These are the highest single lava flows and the highest pair of lava flows seen during this eruption so far. The episode 35 lava flow produced approximately 13 million cubic yards of lava. The combined average eruption rate was over 400 cubic meters per second from the two lava flows. The lava flows from these flows covered about two-thirds of the floor of Halamauma'u crater. 